Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a new work item in TFS 2015 using Web Access. The other way you can create a new work item in TFS is using Visual Studio. Uh, again, the work item type and number of work items that appear really depend when you created. Uh, it really depends on uh, when you created your project, which template you use to create your project. There are three templates available in TFS when you create your team project. One is um, uh, CMMI. Uh, Agile and Scrum. So um, in order to use web access, you need a TFS web URL. In my case, I have that right here. This is my uh, TBS TFS server. Uh, and I have opened um, Team Foundation Server Administration Console right here. And if you click on application tier, you will see the web access URL right here. So let's copy that and open in in your browser at first time it may ask uh, um, your username for me it is cluster admin you need to have access to your team foundation server and based on your access all the um, project team projects will appear right here if you don't see uh, the projects appearing right here you need to click on browse and this will open up all the collections in team foundation server based on your permission you will see the projects in my case i have two collections default collection and i have a tbs collection under default collection i have a, a cmmi project right here uh, i'm sorry scrum project tech brothers and this is agile and this is um cmmi uh, these are the three templates again that's available in Team Foundation Server. So let's connect with the Tech Brothers and click on Navigate. This is the landing page for your uh, project based on your permission. In order to create a new work item, you need to click on uh, Create New right here and then pick the work item that you wanted to create. In my case, um, let's create a, a task. Tags are really helpful when you are looking for a specific work item uh, in complex environment. Really, they, there are many work items, tons of them, and it's hard to go through all of them. But if you have tags, they will help you to search your uh, related item that you're searching. If you need to modify later on or you need to change the status of your uh, work item or if you wanted to look at different detail of your uh, work item, uh, the tags will help. So in my case, I'm going to add the tags. So for me it's going to be database i'm going to add another tag since uh, i'm creating a new database in sql server and i will put the tag as task because this is the work item that's a tag so i will put a title right here title is mandatory so create a new database since it's scrum methodology it's a sprint one when you create a new work item the first time uh, it'll show you right here you can change that if it is uh, some other sprint this part of uh, you know usually uh, big projects don't take that many sprints but if your project uh, is actually uh, a long project and you have divided that into s uh, six sprints wherever uh, your project is uh, based on that you can choose your sprint I'm gonna leave it sprint one assign it to you can assign it to dba team or you can assign it to a particular user this user uh, will be pulled from uh, active directory however this user needs to have permission on tfs in order to appear in this uh, assigned to uh, drop down menu in my case i have only one so far so i'm gonna just use that um, in the beginning when you create a new work item it's always the status is to do um, it's a little bit different in visual studio but not a whole lot the meaning is same area represents um, your project uh, if you have multiple projects you need to choose that project from the drop down menu that which project this um, uh, new work item that you're creating uh, reason so when you create a new work item it's always new and once you update that you can change the reason priority uh, lower number shows high priority and uh, um, higher number which is probably four one to four if you click four that is the lower priority um, work item 
So uh, remaining hours, this is uh, how you calculate your, your uh, remaining work. So it's number of hours that you put in. Um, remaining, in Visual Studio, you'll see that it is shown as remaining work. And then in parentheses, it is hours. So in this uh, work uh, web access, it doesn't show that um, whether you need to put it in terms of days or hours or what, but uh, it is hours. Um, activity. If you click on drop down menu, uh, this work item is related to deployment or is it part of design? Is it part of development? In my case, it's part of development. You need to choose that. And um, blocked if, if this, um, you, you have an option to, to block this um, uh, work item and uh, assign it to uh, maybe a particular person, especially uh, for example, that if you assign to cluster admin and they come in and they don't want any other person to work on this work item, then they can click on block that they are, they are the one who's gonna work on it. Description, you can put a description. You can also uh, create a link uh, and uh, if this work item is linked with another work item, you can put that there as well. In uh, um, Visual Studio, you really get a, a lot more detail in description. Uh, you have ID um, that you can relate to the other work items. Every work item that you create um, is associated well, with an ID number. So you can put that ID number and can pull that out. So with changes uh, it is related to, you can put that there too. History, links, attachment, any requirements, if for, for example, the database creating new database has the database name, uh, server name, um, initial size, and all that in a, a Word document, you can attach that right here. And the person that you assign to will be able to take a look and, and uh, uh, work on that. So this is basically how you create a new work item uh, in Team Foundation Server using web access. You don't need to have Visual Studio to create a new work item. However, there are some features that's not available um, in, in web access. Let me save and close. Once you're done, you need to save and close. And uh, when you open uh, your web access, it'll, it, it'll show you right here some features of Team uh, Web Access not visible to you. So um, it's really, um, most of the stuff is available uh, in web access, but some features are not available um, in web access. And I hope this video helps.